Hey guys, I uh, will take up one more problem on convolution sum of an infinite length sequence. This time, uh, we will find output y of n to the power n u of n convolved with alpha to the power n u of n where where magnitude of beta is less than 1 and magnitude of alpha is less than 1 ok this is nothing but convolution operator if they ask the problem something like determine 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 or find y of n is equal to uh, sum sequence convolved with sum sequence it is nothing but convolution sum you need to find convolution sum or it is nothing but output of a LTA system okay so we will take up this problem solution first we shall sketch these two sequence uh, before that so this is of the form what y of n is equal to what x of n star h of n so we saw this in our uh, uh, prerequisite video on convolution sum a convolution of uh, equation can also be written in short form something like this y of n is equal to x of n star h of n uh, uh, actually instead of writing this equation y of n is equal to what summation k varying from minus infinity to infinity x of k h of n minus k so in short we represent it like y of n equal to x of n star h of n fine so uh, you can take x of n as beta to the power n u of beta to the power n u of n and h of n as alpha to the power n u of n or you can take ulta also x of n be alpha power n and h of n be beta power n because convolution holds good commutative property x of n star h of n is equal to h of n star h of n anything you can assign so we shall assign let x of n is equal to beta to the power n u of n and h of n is equal to alpha to the power n u of n so we'll take x of n as beta and h of n as alpha right now we have to plot x of k and h of minus k before that we'll plot x of n and h of n how does an x of n looks like so 0 1 2 3 4 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 this is n since you, we have u of n, we have samples only on the positive side of n because the unit step function, unit step function has does not have any samples in the negative side of n. Okay, so n takes value 0, 1, 2, 3, dot 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 up to infinity. Fine. Now, when n equal to 0, when n equal to 0, uh, what is beta to the power 0? It is 1. Anything to the power 0 is 1, right? And when, a, when n equal to 1, uh, what is beta to the power 1? Is this greater than 1 or less than 1? It has to be less than 1. Why? I'll tell you. Because magnitude of beta is less than 1. Right? So say, say, if beta is 0 0.5, since why I have taken 0 0.5, I assume beta is 0 0.5 because magnitude of beta is less than 1. Right? So beta to the power n, u of n is nothing but what? Then beta is 0 it is 1 when beta it is when beta is 1 uh, this is nothing but 0.5 power n u of n what is 0.5 power 1 it is 0.5 when beta is equal to 2 what is 0.5 power 2 0 0.25 and it goes on so basically it's a exponentially decreasing sequence okay if if beta is 2 say magnitude of beta is greater than 1 then it will be exponentially increasing so it goes like this okay so when n equal to 0 it is 1, when n equal to 1, 2 power 1 which is 2, when n equal to 2, 2 power 2 it is 4, when n equal to 3, 2 power 3, so it goes on, it's an exponential signal, okay. So both are actually exponentially decreasing signal because both bit alpha and beta are uh, less than 1, uh, depending upon what is the value of alpha and beta, alpha may and beta in, may take any value in between 0 and 1, okay. So this is actually exponentially decreasing sequence it decreases something like this this goes like this till infinity this is x of n which is beta to the power n 
your heart. Okay. So similarly, what is h of n? h of n is equal to what? Alpha power n e of n. The sequence is same, but it depends upon what is the value of alpha it takes. Same. So it is one, and it is exponentially decreasing. So it is like this. Fine. Now, so what I need is h of minus n. As per the equation, this is step one of the solution. Uh, h of minus n. If it, this is h of n, what is h of minus n? So it is nothing but this is mirror image, right? So zero minus one minus two minus three minus four dot dot dot. And it is one, so it decreases in the empty set. This is one. This is zero. This is h of minus n. Okay. What's the next thing I need to do in the step one? So I have to replace independent variable. So x of n is there. So this is now x of k, and this becomes k. And h of minus n is h of minus k, and this is k. Okay, so now I have x of k and h of minus k. What is the next step? Step two. So step two. Step two is I need to bring so zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, so minus one, minus two, minus three. So this is k. I need to bring both. X of k sequence and h of minus k sequence in a single k axis, right? Independent variable. So x of k is a exponentially decreasing sequence. It is like this. So don't worry. What is the value of these samples? We are going to put it generally, right? Whereas x uh, h of minus k is like this, which is starting from zero and ends at minus infinity. So H of minus k also starts from here, and it goes till minus infinity. Now, which is the slider? Now, slider is for H of minus k. This is the slider. Okay, so this this is both are in both are in actually zero. This is a slider, and what is the value of slider? Since since this end is at zero, so slider is Slider index is n. Okay. Fine. So this is x of k. This is h of minus k. What is the next step? So now I need to uh, take this slider and I have to move my h of minus k. Whenever I'm moving inside this slider, left or right, accordingly h of minus k sequence is also moving left and right. So I need to move starting. I have to take it and. I have to keep it at minus infinity, and I have to keep on moving right, moving right until the two sequences gets overlap, right? So till it gets overlap, till before it gets overlap, that is the non-overlapping region, and after it gets overlap, it is the overlapping region, right? So first we'll decide the overlapping, non-overlapping region. So this is. This is k, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is x of k. And say I, I I'll bring this. Uh, we'll assume that I took this n and I kept it at minus infinity, and I I was I kept on moving it right till I end up with somewhere around minus three. Okay, something like this. So this is now n. So till overlap did not actually started, right? When the when does our overlap starts? Overlap overlap our overlap starts only when I keep the slider, which is n, at just before zero, which is minus one, right? Correct now. So therefore, when n is less than zero, till this n is less than zero in the sense till minus one. So there is no overlap. This is non-overlapping region. So, 
so y of n is equal to 0 why because no overlap fine now so when does our overlap starts actually shall i write it uh, i'll better i'll write it here overlap starts overlap starts so if this is if this is x of k I, I move it more than 0. Say I keep this slider n and I, I, I assume that I'll, I'll keep it at 4. Okay. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It is like this. Now this is my n. Okay. So this is these are the samples we have. And these are the samples we have. Basically overlapping portion is this. Right. So this is k. If if I move to 10, if I move this n to k is equal to 10, so overlap start from 0 to 10. If I move it to 100, overlap is 0 to 100. If I move it to infinity, overlap is 0 to infinity. So overlap basically start from 0 and depends upon, I mean, and ends at depending upon where I keep this slider index here, right? So therefore, so this is overlapping region. This is overlapping region. So y of n is equal to summation k, this is as per the formula, minus infinity infinity, x of k, h of n minus k. So y of n is equal to summation k, so overlap started from 0 and ends at, depending upon where I keep my n value, x of k. What is x of n? Okay, so what is x of n? Uh, okay, what is x of n? x of n is what? beta to the power n e of n. But e of n is 1, we don't tend to consider this, right? So if x of n is beta to the power n, what is x of k? It is nothing but beta to the power k. So this is nothing but beta to the power k. Okay. What is h of n? What I need is h of n minus k, right? So what is h of n? h of n is alpha power n. You ignore e of n because it is 1. So if h of n is alpha power n, what is h of n minus k? It is nothing but alpha power n minus k, right? So this is nothing but alpha power n minus k. Okay. Fine. We will simplify this. y of n is equal to summation k varying from 0 to, I will write it as n plus 1 minus 1. So that plus 1 minus 1 cancels out and I end up with a. N. So I'm trying to bring this in the standard form. What is the standard form we have? So summation k varying from 0 to sorry n varying from 0 to n minus 1 alpha to the power n, which is nothing but 1 minus alpha to the power n minus 1 whole divided by 1 minus alpha. So I'm trying to bring this bring it to this form. Okay. Uh, beta to the power k alpha power n alpha power minus k. I split this power. Now, since alpha power n is independent of k, I'll take it out from the summation. y of n is equal to what? Alpha to the power n summation k varying from 0 to n plus 1. So this is beta power k. This is alpha power minus k. I can write it as beta divided by alpha whole power k. Now, this is in the form summation n varying from 0 to n minus 1 alpha power n, right? So summation, this n here is k. Alpha here is beta by alpha. Right? So this is n plus 1 minus 1. This whole value is capital N. Okay. So what is y of n now? It is nothing but alpha power n into what is summation n varying from 0 to n minus 1 alpha power n? It is nothing but 1 minus alpha power capital alpha power capital N minus 1. But what is alpha? This whole beta divided by alpha whole power n minus 1. Sorry, this is 1. Sorry. I am sorry, this is 1 minus alpha power capital N divided by 1 minus alpha. Okay, This term comes here. This n term comes here. This n term comes here. So now this n plus 1 terms, uh, this n plus 1 terms, which is nothing but n plus 1 whole divided by 1 minus beta divided by alpha. So this is the output of the system for the overlapping region. So, okay. 
So therefore, output y of n is equal to 0, 0 for n is less than 0, for n is less than 0 and it is equal to what? Alpha to the power n, 1 minus beta divided by alpha whole power n plus 1 whole divided by 1 minus beta divided by alpha. So this term for n is for n is what? This is for n is what? Greater than or equal to overlapping region start from greater than or equal to 0, right? So greater than or equal to 0. For n is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so this is the output of the system.